Here with boxing legend Kathy Duva. How's it going, Kathy? Pretty well, thank you. Okay. Uh, Thomas Lamani just stopped Juan Carlos Abreu in the third round. What you think of the performance? Um, well, I don't think it could have been much better. Uh, you know, the first round, it's a little touch and go, but he, he uh, clearly found his rhythm, got his footing, figured the guy out, and that was it. Yeah. Uh, the show. Initially, everybody thought uh, Lamana was going to box on the outside, kind of be safe, and kind of outpointing him, but he stepped on the gas in the third. Did you expect that? I frankly didn't know what to expect. I really hadn't been, you know, I just kind of a marker. I don't focus on that part of it. Joe and the other people on my staff are more the boxing um, I know that this fight was so important to Thomas that uh, he asked us to come in and help him to know it so he wouldn't have to spend all his time because he's truly self-made. He's kid promoted all his own fights. He's really a, a marvelous story and I'm just so happy for him that he, uh, you know, that, that, he, that he was able to not just win but win so decisively. I know how much it means to him. Just watching the raw emotion after he got the victory, is that kind of what makes people fall in love with the sport? It made me fall in love with it, um, and I, you know, it felt so good to go up there and congratulate him. Um, you know, he, you know, again, more than most fight. I mean, every fighter, of course, wants to get there. And, you know, now he's going to be in line for a world title shot, and that's a big deal. Um, every fighter, that's their goal, right? Their dream. But he just could literally promote it all his own fights. <laughs> um, I know how hard it is to promote a fight, okay? And it is just remarkable to me that he's been able to like, stay focused on his career and do all that work and uh, and succeed. It's really a wonderful story. Thank you, Kathy. I appreciate it.